This is Sports Radio 97.1 FM, Sports Center. Good afternoon. I'm Paul Keels. After lots of overnight anticipation when the story first started to come out, the Columbus Blue Jackets today made official the hiring of John Davidson as the team's president of hockey operations. All good. John Davidson. How you doing? John McConnell. Hi, John. Nice to see you. Hello, boss. How are you? Nice to see you. Good. Everything good? Absolutely. Didn't know I'd be a part of Blue Jackets history today. There you go. <laughs> How you doing? Nice to see you. See you. Did you meet oh, yeah. Diana? I don't No. Diana Scott Housen. Oh, hi, Scott. Nice to meet you. So New Year's Eve, Bob Pleger, one of the defensemen, another guy, Floyd Thompson, unbeknownst to us, went to the barn and got uh, one of the Tennessee walkers out of there. And uh, Floyd jumped on it. And Bobby put his belt around the horse and then pulled it up over the patio. The horse ducked into the house. Floyd didn't Floyd duck, he hit his head and was no, gone. No. <laughs> Next thing you know, there's this, and they're big horses, Tennessee wise, yeah. they're pulling around the house. Now the carpet, beautiful hardwood floors, the carpet wasn't quite wall to wall. And then he'd, he'd pull the horse around the corner and the horse's hoof go <laughs> Oh yeah, oh it was, see, first year of marriage, she was, oh my God, what's going on? I'm saying, calm down, calm down. Didn't want to be the first. No, nice. <laughs> I don't want to be the first. There we go. At this point, it's my great pleasure to introduce you, the newest member of the Blue Jackets family, uh, President of Hockey Operations and Alternate Governor, Mr. John Davidson. Thank you very, very much. John Aaron, Ports on Columbus Dispatch. How are you, Aaron? I'm very well, thanks. Welcome to town. Thank you very much. Um, how strong was the pull if there was a pull in another direction? You could have gone back into broadcasting. You, yeah. you could have maybe waited out and seen what else became available. How strong was the pull? How big is the desire to build a team again and compete? When you're wanted, it means a lot. I mean, as you said, it's a great day, so I assume you're four. Uh, when I was first uh, broached, I said, go, let's get it done. And uh, I was uh, fully involved and fully supportive all throughout, uh, you know, when that window of opportunity came to talk to John. I feel confident. The only, the, the hardest part is to go through the, through the ups and downs of, of, of getting a club to get really back on its feet and, and going in the right direction. We'll, we'll win our share, and then as we move along here, we'll, we'll win more than our share. What you face when you... Oh yeah, last night. They were good. A good one here from Ben Bishop, the goaltender. He's a nice guy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by. Welcome to the Columbus Blue Jackets Hockey Announcement. Once again, for a question, it's star then one at this time. And our first question is going to, will come from Greg Christens from ESPN.com. Your line is open. Hey, J.D., congratulations, first of all. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Sports Radio 97.1 The Fan. Common Man, Mike Rigardotti, Jonathan Smith, T-Bone helping me out today. The Cowboy, Craig Krenzel, will be with me tomorrow. Jacket's making some news today. Press conference earlier over at Nationwide. Now joining us in studio, the best-dressed person in this entire building by <laughs> far, the new Jackets president of Hockey Ops, John Davidson. John, it's good to talk to you. Thank you for coming hey, in. My pleasure. You, uh, you all are set up pretty good here, huh? It's not this bad, nice. right? For, yeah, real good. For a little radio station, right? Fantastic. So, so anytime you need pleasure, to let us know, right? Another way around. Yeah. You need somebody, give me a yell. <laughs> we'll talk hockey. 